Hi guys and welcome to Super Metallurgy. Guys, today I'm with uh, David in his beautiful Mercedes C63, and um, we are on a bit of a drive. So we're on the M25, and we're heading round to the north side of London to Beaconsfield. Okay. Yeah. And what are we going to do when we get to Beaconsfield? Uh, hopefully, see people that have responded and turned up to come with us. Otherwise, it's just me and you, mate. Yeah, so we might be all on our own, but we're not sure yet. So, um, so hopefully, there'll be a few others, and then we're um, we're going um, a bit further outside of London. Yeah. To where? Uh, just the outskirts of um, the Cotswolds. We're going to uh, the classic motor. Home. So the classic motor hub, yeah. and I don't know anything about the classic motor hub, so it's going to be interesting, but apparently there's going to be some nice cars. They've got parking for about... 250? Two, yeah, about 250 yeah. cars, so it should be quite a nice event. It's good footage, and there should be some interesting, um, interesting cars, and I think there's going to be everything from modern cars to older classic yeah. vehicles as well. Yeah, and some historic racing cars, you know, um, Astons, Porsches, uh, there's just a whole variety of stuff. Perfect, sounds great. Yeah. So we're going to crack the journey on and um, we'll come back to you guys in a bit and um, give you a bit more information about this car. So um, we touched on it last time, but yeah. we didn't actually do anything with it. No. So, um, no. so this time we can have a proper walk around it. We'll get some of the, um, the noises this thing makes because it sounds, it sounds awesome. It's just such a great engine in the C63. And um, yeah, we'll crack on and we'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Okay, so we've just got to uh, Beaconfield Services and there seems to be quite a large um, Porsche 928 community. So there's a load of, um, of 928s around the other side. Um, look, sort of older cars, classic cars. And um, we're parked up. It doesn't appear to be anybody else here. No. So maybe we are going to be on our own on this, on this day. <laughs> we are one minute early. Yeah, one minute to early. To my own event. Yeah, exactly. So um, you've got to, be, um, got to be early for your own thing. So they're being fashionably late, hopefully, everybody else. Yeah. This car park will be full shortly. So um, we'll check back in and we'll keep you posted in a while. And um, we'll have a, maybe I'll have a walk over and see those 98s and yeah. um, see who's around. Cool. Seven. 
obviously the difference is probably exhaust system and air filtration yeah. and this is a bit better. Yeah, and this is just down tune yeah. from the black on the 507. And it's not been, you haven't uh, tuned it in any way, have you? It's totally standard. Totally stock. Don't fancy tuning it? Um, any sponsors out there that want to grab hold of this and do it for nothing? <laughs> of course, but uh, I might do. I might send do. your checks to Dominic Swinfield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass the money on. Don't right. worry. Um, but I think for, first and foremost is to have the thing to have the thing breathing. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point having all that power if it's got asthma. Sure. So, um, so it'll be exhaust system, see what sort of minor upgrades I can do on that just to help it flow through better. Yeah. And then, um, obviously, get it, on the, get it on a rolling road first. Yeah. Do that sort of work. And then, um, and then map it and see what the map finally gives. Um, because if you map it and do all that stuff all at the same time, who knows how much is giving what? Really. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone will pump out. I will give you 30, 40, 60 brake. Yeah, it's, it depends on everything. Yeah. Atmospherics, weather, the whole lot. Yeah. But I mean, it goes really well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lovely car. It's. <laughs> Okay, that's one of our convoy yeah. of two that we have, and that's the um, the other car that I filmed a few minutes ago, which you'll see in this video, which is an E63 bi turbo, which has been tuned up to just over 700 horsepower with a Capristo exhaust, and um, <laughs> it sounds pretty good. It does sounds lovely. It's uh, yeah, it's a real thug of a car. Um, okay, so back onto your car. So, um, so it's a um, it's E6.3, isn't it? Was it yeah, 6.2. The, the yeah. 6.3 is a uh, heritage thing back in, uh, I think it's somewhere in the 60s. Okay. Um, the two guys that set up AMG, I think they produced, um, oh sorry, no, actually I got that wrong, it's a, a Mercedes produced a 6.3 litre engine. Right. The AMG guys took it and they used it in their Le Mans car. Okay. Uh, and I think they had it as 6. Point, boiled it out to a 6.7 litre. But the 6.3 is just harking back to the heritage. Right. Um, so it's so it's yeah 6.2 V8 naturally yeah. aspirated. Yeah. And uh, different air filter, K and N. Yeah, K and N air filters. It's like a panel filter. Yep. Yep. Takes two of them. Okay. Um, and then uh, the spec of the car. So so I mean it's a nice spec. So you got Alcantara steering wheel. Is that standard or is that? That comes with a performance pack. Okay. Um, so does that do? So performance pack does. You get your steering wheel. Suspension. Is that different? Do you know what? I'm not sure. I think it's. I think there is a slight um, suspension change. Okay. But you definitely get a. It's firm. I can feel it. It's firm. Yeah. You get a different brake setup. Yeah. So you get performance brakes that you get on the 507. Yeah. Um, which are like composite. Yeah. They're not. Um, uh, they're not the black series. The black series have got floating discs. Yeah. Uh, which are changeable discs. Yeah. Um, these are like semi-floating. Okay. Um, what else? It's got the factory fitted limited slip diff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and a, a few other toys on it. And how long have you owned it? Uh, December 17. Okay, so a couple of, a year and a bit. Yeah. Very nice. And you were an Audi driver beforehand? Yeah. Um, S4. S4. SQ5, yeah, uh, RS4. Okay. Last the RS4. What, and which was your favourite out of those three? It's a, it's a weird one really because the the supercharged V6 in the S4 was a lot more like aggressive because it was supercharged. It was there the power. Yeah. But SQ5 had loads of torque, but top end it just run out. Yeah. Um, and then. Sorry, we're just changing lanes and coming off. Um, Is he watching? And then the RS4, lovely car, absolutely love the the look of it. Yeah, it's fantastic. But what I found with that V8 is, compared to this anyway, that the the power there wasn't much power low down. Right. You had to get you had to get up into the revs. Wind up to, the um, yeah. Wind up the turbos. Wind it up. 
Uh, no turbo. Oh no, sorry, no turbos. Yeah, like. yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it would go around to something like eight thousand two two fifty. Yeah, amazing in the no, reds. This well, will this will change at seven two fifty. Yeah. But the, the power's all the way down in the in, in right hand and low more, rev. Um, yeah. more lethargic, isn't it? But it actually is. Yeah. It delivers much better low down. Yeah. The way through the rev range. So um, which goes well. It's it's bags lovely. And bags at all. Yeah, and it, you know, it's never going to be the fastest thing out of the box, but... Um, I, just, I just love what it has. I love what it does. I love what it gives back to me. It's got loads of theatre and... You know, um... You know, it sounds awesome. You know, it pops and bangs when you come off the throttle. It does, it does all... It's not mental like a BMW, which is, uh, sounds like a massive bowl of uh, rice crisps. It, it really does. is. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, so we are here at the uh, the Classic Motor Hub now in Oxfordshire, and um, there's some nice nice cars here already. So there's um, you can see a DB5 Aston Martin. We've got a e Porsche Boxster, obviously V63 AMG, a C63 Cosworth, and Ford Escort. Let me show you. So just a few. So I've got a little Boxster there, E63, C63. Rather nice Escort Cosworth, I and mean, you don't see many of these now. 997, I think Carrera 2, um, and then a couple of uh, MX-5s. Okay, so you can see nice Aston Martin, DB5. And a room full of works of art. Wow, nice Maserati. Ducati. Beautiful bike. Cafe racer. Now that. That is a pretty car. Bentley. Really beautiful. Huge. The size of this thing. Supercharged Bentley. Very beautiful. Okay, so we're inside at the moment. So we've got the most beautiful Alfa Romeo here. Um, totally restored. Stunning, stunning car. Take a look inside this. Interior has all been redone. And original gauges, original steering wheel. In Alfa Racing Red. I mean, really, a work of art. So this car's been sold apparently for £60,000. Very, very pretty. And this Porsche convertible is a 930 Turbo with a four-speed gearbox and it's in a one-off colour which was done for a motor show and uh, it was done by Porsche um, and I have to say having owned many Porsches this really is amazing I don't know if I could drive it but it is a beautiful car and the car was sold for £100,000 it was listed at £150,000 apparently but it's even got um, heated seats, which for this era of car is extremely rare. So it was done by their special sort of works department. Very nice car. Okay, then we come over to a Ferrari, which is actually um, a Ferrari chassis, Ferrari V12. Um, it has been properly raced, um, except this car has got a, a body shell which isn't by Ferrari. So it was, um, the, the shell was built separately, um, but it makes it a usable car. And this is uh, apparently 550,000 um, pounds. And it's an X, um, so this is a 250 Testarossa, X Innis Island car. Um, and you can see, I mean, it is just a work of art inside with beautiful wooden steering wheel, with the inlays around the, the edges of the wheel and those wonderful Ferrari gauges. Um, but nice little touches, like it's got the, um, the tartan interior. And then you can see just down here, it's got the um, headphone jack socket, um, but a usable car, really beautiful. And if you were to have this as the original Ferrari, it would be about 20 million pounds. Rather pretty um, Citroen. Um, wonderful suspension on these. And a Bugatti. This is a Bugatti Type 54 um, with those lovely side running boards. Beautiful, beautiful machine. 
really very expensive piece of art. Um, that wonderful turn dashboard inside. And I don't know the price of this, but I imagine it's going to be hugely expensive. But a really beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. Stunning work of art and lovely to see. Okay, so let's go through to the other side and we can have a look. And we have got a motorbike for the people that love motorbikes, a Moto Guzzi. Um, so the Guzzi is really great machine, lovely condition as well. And over here, I'm not even sure what this is. So maybe one of my viewers will know what this is. It's a rather beautiful motorcycle. And a modern, rather nice Land Rover. But not what we're looking at today. American couple bought it. They left it in Europe. And they, okay. um, they did a tour Pretty Europe little Europe. MGA. For 1600 Mark II Roadster. Just like the ones that we were looking at in, uh, in Manila. Um, a couple of months back. This is quite rare now. BMW Z1 with those uh, those amazing doors that drop down into the seals. This really was flavour of the uh, the time when I was a boy. I remember it coming out. These doors drop down into the seals, and then when you press the button, you get in. The door rises back up to the uh, to the original waistline of the car along here. Okay, so then we move on a little bit. So 1996 355. Great car. One of the best soundtracks of any Ferrari ever built. Really pretty car. And then we have another 355 over here. Again, Bernaletta. Aston Martin Vanquish. 1987 Testarossa. So obviously we featured quite a few Testarossas on the channel now. Um, Alfa Romeo 8C, one of my favourites. So the Ferrari derived engine and gearbox with the F1 style gear change, paddle shift on the steering wheel, all aluminium carbon fibre interior, even complete with fire extinguisher on the floor and it's got a rather nice matching luggage set which you can see just behind the seats so handmade luggage but these seats are just beautiful with these these lovely inlays that have been done um, really very special machine and this is up for 200,000 pounds and then uh, Aston Martin Vanquish um, obviously much more modern um, V12 um, automatic gearbox and the gentleman was telling me they're actually going to be um, this particular car you can get now a manual gearbox which can be engineered back into the car and costs about ten thousand pounds okay rather beautiful lotus a bit smaller than i'm used to but a little work of art look at that guess how much £13,950 with a petrol engine so this somebody has to buy for their children a proper miniaturised race car it really is that big if I put my shoe next to it you can see just the size it's tiny work around ok let's go next door and have a look next door Okay, so we're going to have a look around the Aston Martin DB5. So you can see, um, door open. This is like a dream come true. Oh, the wonderful seats. Wow. You can't believe how this feels. I've always wanted to go in this car. The interior, you can see the seats are just absolutely perfect. Wonderful gear stick. So small, it feels so... Um, tactile compared to a modern car. Um, okay, so you can see we've got a Becca Mexico in here. Um, so obviously this is a more modern day stereo. Um, so it's been upgraded. I mean, 180 miles now on the speedo in a car like this is just phenomenal. This one has actually had quite a lot of work done. So it's got an uprated engine and suspension and this beautiful um, handcrafted wood steering wheel. And you can see it's actually got a couple of cracks on it, but it's just so nice to see compared to the modern day cars. So we've got all our normal gauges, gauge clusters, everything is just 
clean and pristine, um, beautiful Smith's clock in the centre. Um, power window buttons, I mean this, you have to remember, isn't a modern day car and it's got power windows, which is amazing. Um, and you can see here your heating controls, um, beautiful, um, beautiful glove box with this wonderful sort of push button um, to open it up, all leather clad. And then very small bucket seats, I mean this is sort of Porsche size in the back of it. And this, uh, this wonderful roof with the inlays all the way around the border in, in I think it's a, it looks like a bird's eye maple. A um, couple of speakers in the back. But this is, uh, this is James Bond's car, so um, quite an amazing machine, really stunning. Beautiful burgundy leather. And the man that actually owns it is called David Brown, and this is a DB5. So you can see down along here, DB5 Vantage S, and this is uh, just stunning, work of art. Look at that for a number plate, DB3. What a machine. It's in stunningly beautiful condition. We have a look inside the, uh, have a look in the boots. Let's lift this up and, and have a have a look, look in here. Boot lid is so heavy, so, so heavy. And you can see in here, quite a good sized boot. All trimmed out in Wilton carpet. You can see down the right hand side, just down there is um, um, the key for turning the battery on and off. And we can shut that down. And the knock off wire wheels. Beautiful, great car. Thank you.